hey, have you been trying to lose weight and you can find a solution? I totally feel you and understand you and I think it's time to take a smarter approach to weight loss. Are you ready? Yes, you are. Because you, want, you have this goal in mind and you want to lose weight. And actually, you don't want to lose weight, you want to lose fat. So I'm going to show you three easy steps to lose fat and not weight. And this is going to be super cool because it's not very complicated. You don't have to do tons of cardio, but you just have to, you know, get used to weigh things and to use uh, scales and things like that. But it's going to be super efficient. So first of all, you have to understand that in your body, you have you know, you need a balance of protein, carbs, and fat, you know, and you can find this information in any uh, box of food that you're going to buy. But to have this balance, you need to understand how many calories you need per day. So you, you can easily find some calculators online that will give you the number of calories you need given the exercise you do. And the other thing you want to do is to use a fitness application like my fitness pal to record everything that you're going to eat during the day. I know it sounds a bit like a mess, it's gone, like it's time consuming, but it's not. After a few days, you're gonna get used to it and it's just gonna take you two or three minutes. So I do it and it's super good. For instance, right now I'm at 2,400 calories, which is very cool. And when I eat, I suggest that you input all the things you're gonna eat in my fitness bar. So it's gonna free your mind and this application is gonna compute how many calories you've been eating all day so you don't have to freak out and you know how many calories you're left for this day so this is the first step to do to start and it's gonna take maybe one or two weeks to get used to it but once you get used to it it's actually super fun and it's cool the other steps you want to take is actually to use a kitchen scale to understand you know what's 100 gram of cooked rice 200 gram of cooked rice etc because you don't want to guess what you are eating you want to be uh, scientific you want to have an exact uh, idea of what you're gonna eat this is very important it's key to uh, track your weight loss you don't need to do a lot of cardio cardio is gonna help you eat more if you're trying to reduce your calories that's it because it allows you to eat a little bit more and it's not gonna burn a lot of fat you know that's a big myth and you have to completely forget about that so the first thing you want to do is use a little kitchen scale like this one it's very easy very practical and a body fat scale like this one is from uh, Tanita and uh, it's quite cool and I have actually a video on this so you can uh, understand that it works and you can follow you know um, your weight like this the second step after you built what we call the macro the macro is basically your caloric needs for the day given your activity and the breakdown of protein carbs and fat so this is the basics you know because the second step is to understand that you need a balance there's no bad food and good food of course you the junk food is not ideal but you can have it from time to time if you count your calories this is good for your mental health because you know it's it's something that triggers our brain whatsoever so don't you know, eliminate everything from your diet unless you're competing for becoming like a model bodybuilder of course but if you're a normal person you just want to make sure that you have a balance between proteins so proteins are found in meat of course but you can also buy protein powder or you can find it in um, you know in a peanuts in nuts for instance uh, or cottage cheese but um, you have to understand that those kind of foods have a lot of fat content fat is not bad for you but one gram of fat equals nine gram of calories so it so can go very very fast and uh, when you add up the grams of fat that you can find and it's very easy to eat you know it's tasty like peanut butter is very tasty but you have to be careful about that and to just limit yourself to let's say one teaspoon of peanut butter the other thing you want to do is to use uh, cooking oil like palm oil which is going to reduce the amount of oil you're going to use to cook and this is very important because we don't think about the cooking oil when we cook and it actually adds up to the calorie intake for the day so this is a big big point and this is going to help you a lot to reduce um, 
the amount of calories you're gonna eat for your day. Right. Then you need to keep this balance. Uh, you need protein to build muscles, you need carbs, it's energy, and fat is also energy, but it's more tricky than that because carbs are usually very um, useful when you're gonna have a physical activity right now. They're gonna be uh, used by your body very fast. But fat, you know, they stay in your body, they are stored in a different way. So it's better for like uh, walking or if you're resting. So it's a different kind of use of energy. So you have to take this into account and understand that it's much better to eat uh, carbs than to eat fat usually. So just be careful with uh, your fat intake. It's not you know, bad to eat fat. You have healthy fats and, and bad fats, but you just have to be careful about that because it goes very, very fast and it can add up to your calorie, uh, total calorie for the day. The last step to your success in losing weight is gonna be to reassess every week your goals you know you're gonna go on this body fat scale every day and you're gonna track your progress you're gonna write down on a paper what's going on and if it goes up then it doesn't matter you're gonna fight another week and it's gonna go down you're gonna reduce your calories by 100 or 200 calories per day which is not a big thing which is like one or two apple a day or maybe two pieces of whole wheat bread it's not a big deal on one day and it's very easy to do so don't freak out on the food don't you know uh, freak out on okay i'm not gonna eat this or that uh, don't try to guess and don't work on sensation use science and it's gonna help you achieve your goals i guarantee you it's gonna work because it's science you know no one can compete with science so there are over two other tips that i want to give you and then you can start from this you know don't make it complicated start like that the other tips are cardio you don't need to run a lot to do what you want to do you know but be as active as possible um, take the stairs uh, if you're taking the subway you know take a few steps before your usual stop and walk you know take this habit of walking around and use you know a, a, an app or you can use my fitness pal where you have steps and they're gonna tell you how many calories you burn this is really cool and it's much more enjoyable than going to the gym i go to the gym a lot of people go to the gym and i highly recommend you to do it to to do to for your mental health and to feel better and to burn more calories but you have to remember that you have to do what you feel like doing and what gives you motivation um, start slow if you want to start doing cardio do it but just bear in mind that cardio is going to help you burn more calories not burn fat so what that means is if you're having difficulties in losing weight if it's really hard for you to eat less then go for a run and you can eat more and compute like i think it's about uh, 600 calories for 45 minutes to one hour of running depending on your pace but this means that you can eat a lot more that's it but usually i tend to be more hungry when i do cardio so it's a, a little trade-off between uh, uh, you know eating or enjoying a physical activity but i would suggest that you walk first or you walk faster and uh, do it after dinner or after a big lunch it will help you digest and it's much more enjoyable and the second tip i want to give you is every time you're craving food drink one or two glasses of water because your body doesn't really understand sometimes or maybe the message is wrong it doesn't you don't get the message uh, am i thirsty or am i hungry so usually you're first you're thirsty so drink water and it will help you eat a little bit less. And this is an extra tip if you want to eat, if you want, you want to avoid cravings. You know, cravings are very, very bad for you. You're going to eat chocolate and biscuits. Don't do that. Uh, try to have a little, a few small meals, uh, buy some protein bars, buy something high quality fruits and bring them everywhere to the office. And this is gonna help you a lot, you know, having those small meals not to crave for dinner. 
and of course like everyone is gonna tell you this is the most important is to use green vegetables because it will make you full and you can buy them in canned vegetables if you need green beans it will make you full and it's like very little calories carbs so do it as much as possible get the habit of eating green vegetables and i'm sure that you're gonna see results very very fast so do that and let me know how it goes reassess your weight your your fat loss every week and be patient you know and enjoy the journey and i'm sure it's gonna work get some inspiration some motivation uh, from through some great people and it's gonna work don't worry just you just need some a little push a little motivation and i'm here for that so i hope you guys enjoyed this video please make sure to like to subscribe to comment and i'll be happy to answer everyone and until next video peace out I love you.